So they're telling us that Lulu is very, very sick. Although you wouldn't necessarily know it straight away just from being around her and looking at her, but she's got quite an aggressive um, form of cancer. And it's taken over 75% of her chest cavity, which means she's really struggling to breathe. And... Um, it's going to leave us with no choice, unfortunately, to let her go in the kindest possible way. And that's that's something that's going to happen in sort of the next 24 hours. Um, so sort of over a day and a half, really, and, and then we'll, we'll so, so sadly be saying goodbye. Um, she's behaving quite normally. She's doing all the normal things that Lulu would do. She was, you know, I mean, she doesn't do much, to be honest. She eats and she sleeps and she wanders around and she comes for cuddles. Um, and when you see them behaving so normally, you know, she she's she's not doing anything out of the ordinary every fiber of your being tells you that it, it just can't be right to to you know have them put down um see these little ball patches here is where we had the tests done the other day um we'd noticed that when she breathes Sometimes she's opening a mouth. That was the first warning sign. And so we took her for tests and one thing led to another. And then we, we found the cancer and um, we, we realised the prognosis, you know, wasn't, wasn't good at all for this little one. So she's 12... I found her when she was a tiny kitten, newborn kitten, 12 years ago. i just come out of the pub and there was this tiny kitten running around in the road, literally dodging cars. So I scooped her up, put her in my hoodie and took her home. And from that moment on, she was, she was our cat. Um... She really brightened up our lives. She she turned out... Debbie and I were living in a little flat at the time and it became a home when Lulu joined us. Um, she's, she's just a, an absolute delight. We couldn't have asked for a better cat, a better friend... She's just awesome. And I wish we'd I wish we had another twelve years. You know. You get cats that live to twenty four. But yeah, it just doesn't seem right, but when all the experts are t sort of saying that it, it's really important that we we don't leave her in this state for any longer, then there's there's really nothing. There's there's no conversation to be had there. You have to do the kindest thing. But she's. She's a beloved part of our family. And to be honest, I prefer Lulu over most people. And I really, I really mean that. And I, I love her more than, more than I can even say. <laughs>